question number one. Am I just finding aesthetic? Aesthetic? Place in the garden to sit. Yes. <laughs> I think it's wood. I'm not sure about the lighting, but my glasses have turned to sunglasses, so I don't see anything anyway. Okay. Eyes back on. So, essentially, I'm trying to start a series. So, since I've left university, I'm now an adult woman with a job and I've lost the main form of group socialization that I have, which is un the University of York Craft and Sewing Society. So I've decided to make my own YouTube Craft Society and I'm hoping that you will join. And by join, I mean watch this video question mark and possibly try out the crafts, the arts and crafts, and follow me down the horrible, horrible, tempting rabbit hole that is the 18,000 craft hobbies that I have. So today I've got quite an exciting craft. I'm hoping to tempt the history buffs as well as the just craft people with some bookbinding. So woo, got so these are the first two that I've made. So this is just a plain one. It's got a handsome Mr. Octopus and it's very badly done. That page isn't that bad, but basically you bind paper together to make a book. Oh, look at that. So it's not very well made. This was my first try. See the gappage. And then that was followed up by a much better. I'm actually, this might be one of my favorite I've made, a much better one. So it's a faux leather. And I think it's very handsome. It's a handsome boy. Um, and I use it to keep my little comic ideas. So it's also useful. I mean, I literally have filled, I haven't filled a single page. Like I've got this and this, so I need to use it more. Uh, Cause the thing is I tend to do all my thinking quite scribbly, so when I come up with an idea and have kind of perfected it, then I put it in here, so I should probably get around to doing that. But that's not, oh, that went far. That's not what we're doing today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to, I made these two books. Woohoo. So this is the spiritual successor to Handsome Mr. Octopus. So this is actually paid the same kind of paper that we used. Um, and I used one to show off the binding, so think it's pretty cool and the next one is a little diary I made with multicolor paper and I think it's pretty fun so let's get into it to start with I made the covers so you cut some cardboard in a rectangle to the size of your paper and then glued it to some leather or paper or whatever you want as the decoration for your cover using decoupage glue works pretty well and it's semi waterproof even though generally like it won't protect water uh, it won't protect water definitely won't protect water won't protect paper you can either sew or glue down the edges so i trimmed them into a triangular shape when they're folded and then i did did a bit of both I tried sewing it and I worked out that leather is hard to sew, so I just glued the rest of it down. We now come up to the hardest part of bookbinding, which is the binding of the book. So I started from the inside and knotted the inside. Because I'm an idiot, I forgot to make the holes <laughs> in the cover. So I took the hole punch and punched the holes exactly where the holes are in the signatures. So 
So, from the first signature to the cover, you kind of do a loop going from the inside to the outside of the signature, and then in the outside to the inside of the cover, and then back into the signature hole you just came out of. Then you just kind of move down to the next one and do it until you've got all of the cover secure. because I'm bad at following instructions, because I did follow some sort of a tutorial, vaguely, but I didn't. So from here I kind of just went up and down, I doubled back to the last hole, and just went into the next signatures. I don't know what I did, you can watch it, I'm going to show you, but I would recommend either working it out yourself, or making the same mistakes I do, it's just fun. Eventually I got to the middle and you kind of want to do the reverse for the back colour. Colour? For the back cover.
So everything's strung together, eventually you ensure it's on the same string and you can just pull everything tight, like corset, and you go into a fancy party. Uh, or you're making a book, which is what you're actually doing, and we're done! So it should look cute, <laughs> as long as you take the time and effort to do it properly. It's pretty foolproof, in my opinion, because I, I did it. The second book binding is a spiritual successor to the faux leather one, because it has the same cover of just folded leather, but it's real leather, a eh? and it's just an elevated version in my opinion because I use fun colours and just have a bit more styles. fun with it. So to begin with, place, I'm showing sta two stages, stages that I did not record for the last one, which no is the cutting and folding of the signatures. So this science, is just made out of cheap pastel craft paper and also the making of the guide for the holes. So you make sure it's the same length as the paper and kind of just punch, work out and punch the amount and spacing of holes that you're later going to do. So both of my examples just use two holes, wait, two holes, four holes per guide, but in a slightly different spacing. It can take quite a while, it can actually be the longest part of the process to prep the paper signatures. So the signatures is what you call just the amount in little bindings of paper. Like you can kind of see them if you look at the spine of a normal notebook, that's the signature of paper, I think, if I'm using terms correctly. And also I would say take care to not punch holes into the table because I actually did that with the first two. <laughs> so I actually have four dents in the table from idiocy, so yeah, hopefully my parents don't watch this one. So prepping for the book binding, the final step is to prep the journal cover. So once again it's a wraparound, so you work out the length of the paper, so fold it out, and then you want to cut a rectangle, I would say that's one and a half, just for safety, longer than that. So 2.5? I don't know science maths can't be bothered at the moment to work that out so you have space for your front flap and the spine which will take more than you think <laughs> so originally i calculated the spine would have 10 holes for two signatures of each color for each month but i decided to just make the two signatures into one signature at the last minute so i just used one of the two I alternatively alternate alternately alternately used the holes so I had uh, unnecessary holes but eh, who cares For the actual binding, I successfully followed a tutorial by Crafty Loop, which I will be linking, and she can probably better explain it, but I'll give you a quick, concise 
I recorded it so I might as well include it explanation of my own because I find, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm dyslexic but I find explanations of these kind of things like how to sew the blanket stitch and stuff like that I can't understand it without seeing it so hopefully this can help as just a little speed up version of that tutorial I moved from the second hole through the cover to the first hole <laughs> so one two three four holes from two in the inside of your signature through to your cover in the same hole up to one back you go then into the fourth hole from the foot hole number one inside the signature through to the cover go around into the third signature and then you're back in the middle and then painstakingly and painstakingly for me <laughs> at least quite incompetent tying the excess string from which you can just tug out from the first when you started off so where the knot is so from hole two with the one in hole three <laughs> see it makes it much easier to see it but also I used wax thread just to practice so that's what you're seeing and then I followed up by using three colours of yarn and made it super coolio But yeah, so I've now got four bookbinding journals. I'd love to, I think I should have put the holes of the second journal a bit higher to make it a bit more bound at the top. It's not got that much shape unless I tie it tightly. I used the three threads also for a bit of decoration. I absolutely adore the first one I made here. I think it's perfect. I wouldn't improve anyway, other than probably following more of a tutorial for <laughs> the actual binding. So yeah, hope you liked it. I hope you can have fun. Enjoy me doing it, even if you don't want to try out yourself and learn a bit more about uh, the science of books. I don't know. <laughs> learn a bit more about bookbinding. Try it out, please, please fall into the deep, deep, dark rabbit hole that is craft and try out something new. Thank you for coming in guys.